50,000 subscribers on YouTube. This is crazy. It's more people than my entire hometown. Um, that is sick, I must say. Thank you all for uh, following the content we create. I really hope I'll be able to you know, teach you the things you need to learn. So comment and let me know what you guys want to learn. That's important to me. And um, when I first started Stompit in like 2012, started filming for it, I never thought I really had reached this point and be able to help millions of skiers to become better skiers simply. So I'm not going to get more emotional than that today. Uh, but uh, since people tend to post something really cool when they hit milestones like 50,000 followers, um, it's not that good weather, so I can't really make a huge video. But I made a vlog from first day of skiing this year that I thought I would never post after my friends weren't that stoked about it. They didn't think it was that great. Um, it's a little different than our usual things. But uh, I hope you'll enjoy it and I'm going to keep focusing on making tutorials and other things that I'm better at than vlogging. Let me know if you like it anyway. And um, have a good one, stay safe, practice a lot, learn a lot. See you guys. Really exciting part of the first day of skiing every year. That to find. It looks like I'm all set, I hope. But last year I was honestly searching like crazy left little boxes and stuff. But this makes me worried. If I find all my ski gear in the morning of the first day of skiing, I get a little worried I'll hurt myself. I almost feel wet since last season. Feels like I need to get new gloves like that. Just wax them up instead. Grab some more. And the gloves are ready for the season too, not just me. All right, we almost found all the gear we need. Now we need some motivational music. I think we'll be fish is the theme of my humming today. Okay. All right, let's learn how to make a skier's omelet. I don't think there's such a thing, but let's learn it. So, first of all, chop a small onion, or maybe half a big one. Slice it in half and then three times sideways and then check, check, check. This is my sweet butter knife. It's a smur on it. That's butter in Swedish. So where I'm from. Put a random amount of butter in the pan so you have something to fry. Fry onions. Now we're frying some of that stuff. Let's put some green stuff in it. I sometimes prefer to put in cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes is probably the best thing to put in. Then you just split them in half. Crack two or three eggs into a bowl, add some salt and pepper, and stir it or whisk it gently. Once it looks amazing, pour the eggs over it all. Reduce the temperature and let it fry gently. That's almost perfect. It should be a little bit liquid, so it's a little bit creamy. Yes! Get pretty perfect. Some salad. Et voila! So that's how you make an omelette. And then I will use the computer as some kind of inspiration. Some sick ski movies. Right. Breakfast entertainment is sorted. Perfect timing. So my friend Charlie is here and picking me up and stressing me on. They're 10 minutes early. Charlie, where are you? What are you doing back there? Ah, I thought you got like... <laughs> oh no, it's going to be stuck forever. This is not where we should be. No? Where I think... Did you, I think where did you put your skis then? 
In there. I said outside of the garage. Garage, Out. outside, <laughs> wooden door. Very good. Hello, oh, friends. First day of the season. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So many people. We never normally take the car to the slope since we can normally just walk, but it's still pre season, so everything ain't open. But are we excited, Charlie? Super stoked. <laughs> Good. Are you gonna do a cool trick for the camera? <laughs> Probably not. We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good job, Jens. One minute ten. Really? Yeah. That wasn't that fast. Ah, that's a good. Hey. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> All right, we're almost on the top now. Really excited. We're gonna slide a rail, aren't we? Fuck yeah! Sweet. I do some yuppies. Yeah, jumpies. Yuppies. Very good. That's a sign of Jay. All right, first run of the season. Let's see if I still can hit some rails. Within the first few meters of skiing, I'm like, oh, what's my skis doing? This feels weird. Let's backslide. What? I can't believe that worked. Ah, I'm back at it. I haven't lost anything. Let's do a K-fit. No, that's not a K-fit. Hmm. This doesn't feel like right. Let's do 450 out. Nah. Can really work. Okay, KFED now. Nah, didn't work. Okay, let's do a Britain instead if KFED didn't work. Mm, also didn't work so well. <laughs> Straight into it, Jens! Okay, now let's do a KFED. Nah, okay, let's do 270 out. Mm, nah. That went as half ass as any first run of the season. <laughs> Good work, Jens. I will get my pulse up now. You're a little sketchy too. Come on. Oh. Alright, this is the rat. This looks groovy. Great attempt! Good first lap! Yeah, I'd say so too. First day of skiing. Oh my god, it's like the skis are just going... Blah, blah, blah. They can go right, left, forward. It's not the amount of control I'm used to since last year. And somehow, first day of the year, each year, I have forgotten what it feels like to have the first day on skis. Like, super excited, but one sucks a little bit compared to the end of previous season. So my best tip for first day of the season, take it a little easy. Slide some rails, feel what it's like to lock it again and do what I did or whatever level you're at really. Anyway, now for lunch. Some Swiss so capoons. Mmm, good soup. Always have a good mountain lunch. It's too warm for you. Delicious. Nice. Someone was unlucky in their first day of the season. Poor guy. Take it easy in the first day. I wish it was me doing it, but, you know. Alright, we're skiing down to the valley, and it's rather grassy down there, maybe. We'll see. Maybe we'll be okay. 